breaking news. That breaking news is in Riverside, where all lanes are blocked as crews are working to clear a crash involving a JTA bus and a train. This is a live look at Roosevelt and McDuff, where you can see the crossing arm on top of that bus. A live report just moments away. We've got new information just to our reporter there on the scene from passengers on that bus. We want to thank you so much for tuning in to Action News Jax at 8. I'm Letitia Barriola. And I'm Phil Amato. JFRD says one person is hurt. We're just learning that mm -hmm. person hurt could be the bus driver. Action News Jax Elizabeth Pace arrived on the scene in the past 30 minutes. And Elizabeth, tell us the new information you're just receiving this morning. I just walked away from jog talking to JTA and they gave me a lot of new information. They told me this crash started at about 640 this morning. They say about seven passengers or more were on at the time. Now those passengers just walked off the bus and this is what they told me what happened. The bus was at this stop here at the train tracks, which is protocol, but then the caution arm started coming down. And that's when they believed the bus driver was going to gun it and try to beat the train. They, they said they were screaming at this bus driver to pull back a little bit, and this train just narrowly missed them. I asked JTA to confirm all this, but they said they're still investigating what all happened. Now I want to take a closer zoom in to show you all of the damage over here. We can see some of the debris on the ground, and then that windshield is broken over there. Tons of cracks over there. Now, the important thing is, is that JTA says no one was seriously hurt. The bus driver suffered minor injuries and was taken to the hospital as precaution. They say none of the passengers were hurt, but just within the last five or ten minutes, we did see another passenger get on a stretcher. So I'm going to go talk to them again to see if that person's okay in this crash. But this is a really busy intersection out here. A lot of cars trying to get to work this morning. So I know Derek Odom over in the First Alert Traffic Center has more on what drivers can expect with this intersection now closed. Yeah, that is definitely a busy area in the Riverside uh, part of town. As we zoom in down the street level, the train tracks run right along Roosevelt Boulevard there, right at McDuff. You can see the bus was coming across, Roosevelt, uh, across McDuff, heading over to the south side there at Roosevelt, where they were stopped. So those lanes are blocked off and probably will be for the time being. So expect some added delays if you're in the Riverside area and you have to detour maybe down to Edgewood Avenue to cross over from north to the south side of the tracks there to avoid that crash. We're going to keep our eye on that situation. Elizabeth will be giving us the details all morning long and online. Of course, you can follow her on Twitter at Pace A.N. Jacks.